What's going on everybody? It's RoyG coming at you with a brand new video and it looks like the OCG is getting a brand new product that I'm not too sure what it's called again. Let me go ahead and check if I can. Uh, it's the Quarter Century Duelist Box, I believe it is. Something like that. They get a lot of like Duelist Boxes to my memory. And so far it looks like we're getting two new cards out of it. So it's not like a core set or anything with new support, but it is just a few little random uh, one-off cards. I'm going to be making two videos out of it though because one, I like money, and two, because they don't really have anything to do with each other. They just both have to be like anime cards well they're not even used in the anime i don't think except maybe the second one i don't know but keep in mind it's gonna be two separate videos to uh, this one i'm not gonna say today in this video we're going to be covering the new zark card and in the next video we are going to be covering the new uh code kind of card not a code talker but it's like a code card so i don't want to waste any more time let's go ahead and get started it says a Zark for every boy, and it is a new synchro version of Zark, which is pretty interesting because we only ever had two different fusions. So it's a level 12 Dark Dragon Synchro Pendulum Scale 1 with 4,000 attack and defense, with a pendulum effect that says you can only use it once per turn. You can tribute one Supreme King Dragon or Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster to special summon this card. And its monster effect says it requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner Dark Pendulum Monsters, and this card's name becomes Supreme King Zark while on the field. After damage calculation, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and or inflicts battle damage to them, you can special summon up to two Supreme King Dragon monsters from your deck, extra deck, and or graveyard in defense position. And if this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place it in your pendulum zone. So I'm not really sure how to feel about this card. I mean, it works with some of the other support cards for Zark, like the, um, the new Astrograph Retrain, whatever it's called. I know that one gives it like protection and stuff like that, and the new Dark Worm and stuff. But you can't really get it out via any of those methods. Like, you can't use Soul of the Supreme King or Celestial Soul. Can't use Astrograph, Chronograph, anything like that because those require the Fusion Zark. And this is only treated as Supreme King Zark while on the field. So you're definitely going to have to hard make this, which doesn't seem to be, like, the hardest thing ever. It only requires a tuner and one or more non-tuner Dark Pendulums. So that's pretty cool, and it's a really big body for the price of that. It does seem a little bit slow, though, because it doesn't have any protection or anything like the actual Zark has. And so it's really weird because you could get some insane value out of this because, uh, for example, you can go into this and then go battle phase, punch over something special two things, and then main phase two special the Arc Ray Zark or, Zark or whatever it's called uh, by tributing this. So you could get some really huge value out of that, but it has no protection or anything like that. And so you're going to have to pray your opponent doesn't have any form of spot removal or anything like that or anything that could negate it during the damage step or it says after damage calculation. So is it technically still the damage step? I'm not sure. So there's quite a few ways to stop this card but it might actually still see play in some uh pendulum magician list because like i said it does work with some of the other supreme king zark cards and i know zark stuff is actually seeing a lot of play now so i don't know uh pendulum players let me know down in the comments below are you going to play this card uh, but that is actually going to do it for this uh, video or technically chunk of it. I'm going to have a separate video. It's going to also be a short one and covering the next card, which is a new Code Talker based card. And so uh, be sure to check that one out. For now, if you liked it, please sure to leave a like as well as with this video and the channel into the remitted. And if for this content you're more like it, like the rest of my review series, then perhaps consider subscribing because we're under 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Not to mention supports the channel or anything else, and it's absolutely free. Also, you want to support me directly while you can get some awesome TCG merchandise in the process, check out Tapio cards down below. Use code Aurora5 for 5% off your purchase at checkout and support me financially. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Aurora, signing off.